Hi there, La Jolla UMC family. This Sunday we're beginning Advent, and if that feels a little bit early to you, that's because it is. But if we can all agree that we all need Jesus, then maybe we can all agree that with 2020 the way it's been, maybe we need to get ready a bit more extensively for Jesus, because we all need quite a bit. I know I do. So I want you to know a few of the ways that we're gonna do that. One, like I said, we're starting Advent early. Um, now, part of this extended Advent, uh, we're going to have some Advent studies. There's going to be a Thursday evening study and a Sunday evening study. Uh, those are going to be led uh, by one by Pastor Leah and one by me. If you want to sign up for those, contact us in the church office. You might have to leave a voicemail. You might be able to send an email. Let us know in the church office which of those you prefer, and we'd be happy to get you signed up. Um, as a part of those, the resource that those groups are going to use is available to everybody because it's going to be on our website. You see, we're starting to publish something called a sermon note, which is going to have a few paragraphs of introduction, the scripture for the upcoming Sunday, and a few thought-provoking questions to help you get ready for worship, help you get ready for Advent, which helps you get ready for Jesus. Um, we're going to be starting the first few weeks with uh, some of Paul's letters, uh, uh, some of the epistles, uh, and then we'll uh, delve into the Gospels and the messages that they bring. And so I hope that you'll participate fully uh, in this experience of extended Advent. Now, what? Oh, well, I'm told that Pastor Leah has something to share with us about that first letter. Let's hear from Pastor Leah. Hey, that's right, Pastor Bob. I have been reading through this week's scripture passage and, you know, on first look, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with Advent. It's about um, being reunited with Christ after we die. So I was a little confused as to why this would be the passage for this week, but then I started thinking about the world right now and the world back in the day when Paul was writing letters to churches. And I think the main message of this passage is that we have hope in Christ, even when things look bleak. This congregation in Thessalonica was maybe starting to lose their hope because because things weren't working out exactly as they had expected. And sometimes for us too, things aren't working out exactly as we had hoped or expected. But that's, that's why we need Jesus, right? Because we have hope in Jesus. And preparing for Jesus is what Advent is all about. I think we can use a little bit of extra hope this season. So that's what I'm thinking about reading this week's scripture passage. And I know we'll talk about it more on Sunday. So back to you, Pastor Bob. Wow. Well, with that in mind, I think that we're just about ready to begin Advent. I hope that you'll join in this exciting time of preparation for the coming of Christ. Grace and peace to you, my friend.